space training. Why should you do it? And who is it for? So if you want to ride faster or ride longer, you have to start building your fitness from the ground up. It's kind of like building a house. You don't start with the roof, you start with the foundation. During base training, we'll focus on building out the aerobic energy system, proper technique, building strength, learning or getting reintroduced on how to train after a long break. A lot of coaches will tell you that riding in zone one and two on easy, low intensity rides are the best and the longer the better. And they'll keep you doing that for weeks. They keep doing this low intensity work for a very long time before introducing some higher intensity intervals. There are other coaches out there that will have you do interval sessions right from the get-go. Who do I think is right? Well, I think they're both right. Depending on what kind of athlete you are, I mean, following a mix of the two during the base phase can be a great benefit, especially if you have a limited amount of time, right? So here is an example of what I like to do during your base building phase. Let's just think of a four week base mileage phase. I'm pretty short. So the first two weeks of a base training plan should only have low intensity rides. This is great for preventing injuries, especially if you're coming straight off the couch. I mean, sprinkle in some gym sessions with moderately heavy weight and you're off to a good start. And then in week two, I would start adding some pedaling drills like one side, left side, right side, pedaling drills, spin ups, different cadences, stuff like that. Week three and four, I would still have you mostly in low intensity rides, but I would start dipping your toe slowly into some zone three tempo intervals. Maybe eight minutes at 75, 85% of your max heart rate. Or if you're fancy and you have a power meter, you could get 76 or 90% of your FTP. Do you know what that is? <laughs> Yeah, followed by two minute rest and then do two or three sets of that. I think it's a good start. It's not too intense, just a little bit too remembering what it feels like because eventually we have to get there. We'll do that once and then maybe twice a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays. Continue the weight work in the gym. Twice a week would be ideal. Once a week would be okay. And voila, you have yourself a base training plan. Okay, great. So why are we doing this again? It's for building aerobic capacity, stimulating slow twitch muscles, training the body to preserve glycogen, and instead use fat as a fuel. In plain English, think of the body as an ultimate hybrid. But instead of two engines, like the gasoline and the electric, it has three engines. My preferred visualization for this is, there's engine number one, can't say it, oxidative phosphorylation, phosphorylation. Oxidative phosphorylation, or as I call it, the diesel tractor. It's not super fast. Well, it's actually kind of slow, but it's efficient and it runs forever. And then there's engine number two, anaerobic glycolysis, or as I like to call it, the muscle car, like a Mustang or a Camaro or a Charger. It's pretty fast, but it burns fuel like you own the gas station. And unless you keep giving it gas, it won't run for very long. Last but not least, there's ATP PC, or as I call it, the rocket. Fast as lightning and out of fuel in a flash. All right, so those are the three engines or energy systems, if you can picture them. You got your diesel tractor, you got your muscle car, and you got your rocket. So it's important to understand that our body uses all the energy sources and engines at all times. Everything's being used a little bit. What changes is the share of the total energy production from the different engines. Meaning sometimes we use one engine more than the other depending on how hard we go or how fast we go. Now, since we're doing base training, we're starting from the ground up, is we want to build up that tractor. So base training is basically, we're going to build the best tractor that we can afford. If you're doing your base training correctly, eventually you're going to have that perfect tractor. And then what's next? Well, you're going to have to start putting some muscle car parts onto that tractor. They ain't going to look pretty at times, but the results will be worth it. And that's base miles in a nutshell. So if you're new to cycling or if you're a cyclist that's been stuck on the couch for too long, I made a very simple four week base training plan with heart rate that is pretty simple to follow. Don't need a fancy power meter. It's only $15. So you can download it at cyclingskills.co or training peaks. It would really help me out. And uh, I think it would help you out too, to build those awesome tractors in the base training phase. Until next time, 
I'll see you guys on the road, on the trail, or somewhere in the woods. <laughs> Have a good one, guys.